this is all canned. And this is not a spring chicken today. We're going to talk, be talking about. It is Fox News in reality in the tank for the president like the other news company organizations are. Are you serious? Oh, is yeah. that what we're talking about today? Yeah, because. Um, See, oh, this, sometimes this is when I find out about it. it it's got <laughs> to do with the fact that um, that uh, uh, Fox News is doing nothing but building up the president of the United States by. Uh, they're basically they're supporting people they know that no one has a chance of winning. Wait a minute, am I supposed? Do you want me to take the other side? Okay, this is what we're. <laughs> this is the other side. Okay, a lot of people by now know my father was a police officer, besides being in the acting community and other stuff. My father basically loved to play good cop and bad cop with people. He <laughs> did. He did it so well. I get to do that in movies a bit, but. Um, Okay, the President of the United States cannot continually have people fawning over him because if if everybody First fawned, of all, it looks really bad. It looks like... Yeah. Yeah, it just looks really bad. Yeah, so he has to have a bad cop, the bad cop being Fox News. People have to remember, Rupert Murdoch supported Obama's economic policies for president. He, he didn't support John it. McCain. He, he supported Rupert Murdoch. He supported Obama. You have to remember, too... Fox News, a month or so ago, fired the entire evening lineup on its financial network. The entire lineup was canceled. Did they really? And it was canceled for one reason. What? They were doing too many negative stories about Obama hurting the economy. Well, I always still remember when you would say, you were watching the news and they said something derogatory about the president and then the person would go on vacation. And they'd go on a, they'd go on a vacation. There's only one person on Fox News that's got a show that is allowed to say negative comments continually about the president, and that's John, Sean Hannity. I mean, Beck used to do it. And Beck basically... Oh, yeah, Beck's no longer he's on He's no there. longer there. He ran out his usefulness playing, good, playing bad cop, so they got rid of Beck. And then you look at the people. Juan Williams worships the ground the president walks on. Uh, Kristen Powers worships the ground the president walks on. You look at all the people that are on Fox News that totally worship this president. Well, here's the funny part is people look at Fox and they think it's really conservative. Uh, it, it's, of course, it, maybe that's all relative to other network stations. Okay, um, the, okay what happened was, um, okay, entertainment and news have been blending themselves into one another for some time. When Michael Jackson died, that was the end of the straight news organization. But, Fox News is produced by a company, you know, that basically, uh, basically a gossip and, and entertainment. And what happened was, is they combined Fox News as basically a combination of entertainment, gossip, and all, very little right-wing materials on Fox if you really look at the network. Mm -hmm. It appeals to the, um, to the non-liberals, which are the majority of the people in the country. But what happens is, if a person is drowning, you don't tell him the uh, how great the, the life preserver is that you're going to throw to him. That's what a liberal does. A liberal will sit there and explain to you why this life preserver is the best life preserver you can possibly have, and by the time they get done, you're drowned. They Rest just give them that life preserver. <laughs> Fox News would just throw you the life preserver. You know, um, Fox News basically, they are not fair and balanced. They're always, they balance, they go to the left. Everything they do goes to the left. Look at who the guests are all the time. I mean, look at Bill O'Reilly, who's supposedly the most trusted newsman in America. He will tell you that he is. He worships, totally worships the ground that this president walks on. He will tell you, this man is by far too smart to understand that you can't do this. Uh -huh. This man is probably one of the greatest intellectuals this nation has ever known as president. He ranks up there with, uh, you know, with, uh, with Woodrow Wilson because he's a scholar. He's too brave. He's this, he's this, he's this. And if you get a chance to go after the president on an issue when he's interviewed him, he won't do it. And he says, well, I had to you know, honor the office. Not if it was George Bush, he, anything, he wouldn't. Not if it was John McCain, he wouldn't. Yeah. Not if it was um, Ronald Reagan, he wouldn't. He would go after them because he is, the, the network basically loves Barack Obama, the same as all of the other people do. Well, do you have, think it has anything to do with the Murdoch family being investigated? Oh, yeah. You, you, yeah. you notice the Murdochs are not in jail cells. Uh, so, Some of you are going, huh? Uh, basically, they got caught in, okay, 
what the, they, they call it hacking. Nobody actually hacked anything. They just, what happened was, the... They, what, what's they, hacking another word for? It basically leaks. <laughs> what happened was, is that um, they, um, the, 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 the way that people are doing things nowadays, when somebody wants some information out there, they tell people, they, they, they leak it and then tell people their cell phones were hacked. Mm -hmm. Where everybody knows they leak the, okay, when an actress, when there's a whole bunch of nude pictures of an actress out there, they weren't, that things weren't hacked, they were leaked. Leaks are being referred to as hacking nowadays, but there's been so much, okay, the News Corp was originally a thing like, uh, you know, a, a really scandal magazine. Basically, they would put stuff knowing that the, the, the libel laws in Great Britain are such that basically you can sue somebody and get one pound. You spend a hundred thousand... You get one pound? You can spend a hundred thousand pound and win a, hundred, win a one pound judgment. Mm -hmm. And well, you know, so basically the libel laws are really hard to work with. I mean, if you, if you basically do anything like slander a Muslim, I mean, that, that basically will throw you in a jail cell. Well, there will be some people probably collecting They, they call stuff. it hate mail, so right. hate mail. But um, everything you do, watch, go watch Fox News. You'll hear all kinds of right-wing rhetoric, but you're also going to hear two times as much left-wing rhetoric on the thing. Wasn't that supposed to be fair and balanced? That's not fair and balanced. They said that um, they're trying to say that... We fair and balanced is like Fair equal, and balanced right? is where, okay, if it's a right-wing thing, you put white right-wing stuff on and you balance it out with people that you know that are not going to basically worship the ground, whoever it is you're talking about. I mean, I mean, I'll give an example. Uh, Fox News buried the story that, Ken, uh, that Justice Kennedy two weeks, almost two weeks ago, found the government had no authority to order people, uh, order businesses to do things and had no authority to grant people that have no legal rights to sue the right to sue. <laughs> they, that, that, so they buried that news until somebody on the left side put it out. I know, can you believe that? They waited until they knew that Kennedy was not happy with the Democrats at the at the at the Supreme Court hearing, so they sort of let everyone know. When they let everyone know, then Sean Hannity go, you know, the Supreme Court, and basically, you know, think that this is such and such and such. See, such. some of you might think, oh, it's just the news cycle. No. Uh -huh. They buried the news for almost a week. That's buried it for almost a week. And it was out there because I read it the same day. I remember you talking about that. I'm like, really? I hadn't heard anything about that. I saw and he's sitting there telling me about it. Yeah. And it did. It showed up oh, almost a, what, week a week later. Yeah. It was even a week later before it hit somebody like Dick Morris, yeah. who you would think would be on top of the right okay. way. I, I can now that, okay. I mean, okay, here's my hand raising. Who does Dick Morris represent? <gasps> he represents the Democratic Party. Mm. He's, well, okay, the, okay. Uh, I'm listening in there, a uh, person saying the only reason why that, uh, that they're not, so, that, that Santorum is doing any well is because the Republican voters will not support Mitt Romney. Basically, the Republican Party doesn't want Romney. Okay, if Romney wins, okay, because we got one of us. If Romney loses, we have the issue for four more years. Mm -hmm. The party wants an issue. They don't want a winner. You can pick a guy that can win. You can basically go to Marco Rubio, who can't lose his Senate seat because he's got five more, you know, four more years to go, and run him for president. He could win the Latino vote very easily, which means he could beat the president. Um, any unnamed candidate can beat the president. So why, you know, I, I heard Bill O'Reilly. Well, we're not support. We're not publicly supporting Mitt Romney. Well, yes, they are. All the negative things are on... Um, See, part of it is, is the news organizations are really not supposed... To, they're not supposed to be supporting any candidates. Editors, editorials can. The, the, you know, they basically, they say, we recommend such and such. But they also will recommend members of the other... They'll recommend candidates. We recommend that Barack Obama on a Democratic ticket and such and such on a Republican ticket. But Fox News is basically making it look like we hate this president. That what happened, here's a, tri here's a absolute bit of truth. If the President of the United States would agree to go on Fox News and he all of a sudden bent over and had a, had a scratch his butt, people could get trampled to death in the rush to scratch the guy's rear end. And I'm guessing that probably Bill O'Reilly in his 60s could probably 
You know, because basically he was an athlete at one time, you know, like a jumper and runner, that he could probably leap over everybody to be the first one to kick the, to scratch the rear end. They worship the ground this man works on. Walks on, just watch the shows. The only really negative person on Fox News is Sean Hannity. Mm -hmm. And because he's there, I mean, they used to have Hannity, okay, Fox News employs all of these left-wing people on their, new, on their radio channel. There is so much left-wing propaganda on Fox Radio, it's unbelievable. And, okay, if you're, a, you look at the list of people that have been fired at Fox News for being right-wing. Mm -hmm. One reporter, one anchor after another, after another, after another, they get, they get fired for being right-wing. The station has only got one right-wing person on the entire station, and that is Sean Hannity. The others are, they call themselves independents. Well, I'm not, a, I'm a registered independent. So, you know, so I mean, when you know, she, you know, she's saying the thing, she, you know, she knows basically what they do. I mean, I'm sitting there a few minutes ago watching the news, and there's three people on telling you how great the President of the United States is, how the unemployment, oh, actually, you know, what business news. They're all saying how the economy will be roaring by this fall election. Mm -hmm. The unemployment rate will be down by another percent. And that's their predictions that it's a slam dunk for the president. All right, the next one. Well, it's obvious from what we heard that the health care law is going to keep the mandate in it. Mm -hmm. Even the people on the left are saying the mandate's in danger, not Fox News. Fox News and Bill O'Reilly saying, well, by my best estimation, it's going to be close, but it should be five to four, and the, and the mandate is gone with the health care. And basically, he says that after his guests all unanimously say, well, it's going to be a five, four, and the president's going to win. So mm -hmm. you've got three says, Brett is going to win, O'Reilly then takes the uh, bad cop side. Mm -hmm. This is how it works. And um, it, it's just... The president cannot have everybody in the country worshiping the ground he works on, walks on. It can't be done, so he has to have Fox News and Rush Limbaugh. Rush Limbaugh, basically, they, they deliberately stage the thing so Limbaugh or people like him will have something to keep themselves on the air for another. He, Limbaugh has to be kept on the air through the election, the same as uh, Glenn Beck has to be kept on the air through the election. If he's not... Okay, Obama gets no news because Obama does nothing, but can, Obama basically has his, his, his class things, his racist remarks, his, his stupid remarks. You mean just because a lot of the networks have, don't cover his news things anymore because it's not really news and he's saying the same thing? Yeah, and, well, it's not really news, plus the fact they don't want, okay, they don't want to hear him say something like, I've been to all 57 states. Uh, they don't want to have him come back and say, well, this was re uh, Republicans re-edited the tape when he's talking live and the whole world heard it live. What? You know, <laughs> that, um, that, that, that my, the health care is not going to cost anyone money and it's going to save money and it's already up to two and a half trillion. They don't want to, they don't want to talk about health care. They don't want to talk about petroleum. They don't want to run the things... Um, okay, the only person basically over on Fox News that runs the fact that Obama said two dollars a gallon was too high was John Hannity. Oh, really? Yeah. The only person? And you have to remember, Bill O'Reilly agrees with Obama on health care, that we got, you know, that we need to have insurance reform, we need all of this. Sean Hannity agrees with the President of the United States that oil companies must be punished. Sean Hannity agrees with all sorts of things that, that Obama preaches. I mean, Bill O'Reilly basically is the biggest supporter in the world for this president. If he says something, okay, why do you think Mitt Romney tries to avoid going on Fox News? Why? Because Fox News basically does everything. They, okay, Fox News wants him to be the a man against the president of the United States. But every time he comes on Fox News, they chew, the, chew his butt out. Mm -hmm. Basically, they point out all of the things that will cost him the election. That's, you know, that, that's not what, you know, if you were, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're basically, he is, they're, they're, they've crucified anybody running against Romney. 
do the party line that Romney is the inevitable winner and then they spend their time destroying Romney so Romney can't win. Mm -hmm. So they are in the tank for this president and don't you know? Like, don't you believe? Okay. Um, there's don't two, you believe they're not? Don't you believe they're not? Rupert Murdoch basically is afraid of like in his uh, se uh, late seventies. Well, they were after you know, his son too. After his son, his son basically well, you know, his son has resigned from everything, but um, the, the attorney general basically has a quasi investigation going on against Rupert. A quasi. Murdoch. Yeah, I have a feeling it's. There as long as they need them for the election. Yeah. Oh, the investigation. I mean. Yeah. The investigation <laughs> will be. Uh, it, it's it's a lingering investigation, like you know, like uh, water's dropping out of a faucet. It's going to continue until the uh, the election is over. And okay, we're going to put another sound away. Without Fox News, this president would never have been president. Mm -hmm. In fact, they're they're responsible for him becoming president. They tore John McCain to pieces. They began the pieces. They they helped to destroy Hillary Clinton. Mm -hmm. So uh, they destroyed Clinton. They destroyed McCain. You know, Mike Huckabee wasn't going. Okay, why do you think Huckabee didn't run? He works at Fox News, folks. He knows what they would have done to him. He'd have ran. Okay, uh, I think Santorum did work for Fox News. They destroy. They destroyed Santorum. Gingrich, Fox News. They've destroyed Gingrich. You know, they just don't like Ron Paul anyway, so they destroy him. But they've done nothing but destroy Republican candidates. Nothing. Nothing but destroy the Republican candidates. I know. See, this is a year that any Republican candidate should be winning. Should be winning. Any Republican any, candidate. Okay. And it is very simple. Anybody, okay, the whole nation prefers anybody else to Barack Obama except the Republicans that are running. <laughs> I know. So if anybody can beat Obama, I mean, he, the guy is pissed off his own base because he won't, he, he, he you know, he, you know, he's, he, he'll be dancing on top of a tabletop if gasoline is six dollars a gallon, mm -hmm. you know, and then, and, and then the problem is Fox Business will not tell you under any circumstances that the economy is worse than what it is. They're sitting there preaching how under this president the economy is growing at a record rate, a record rate. That under this president's policies that um, uh, they have people on that basically try to explain the truth and they have two people on to tell you they're, they're basically effed up. Mm -hmm. That this is, this is a growing economy. No, it's not growing. People, you cannot, if you couldn't sustain an economy at $2 a gallon, you can't sustain an economy at $5 a gallon. Mm -hmm. Go to your grocery stores. The shelves aren't stacked full. Go to your department stores. This inventory is not there. How many people you know are getting raises? How many people do you know that lost their jobs that are working? It isn't being done, but Fox News is telling you how, well, we've hit brand new highs, and they'll have two out of every three guests will tell you this that Barack Obama's economic policies are directly responsible for this, and they won't knock you down when they say that it's, it's, it's nothing but BS, and business people, I mean, okay, we're going to try a Fox News thing that supports the president. Uh, the, okay, housing is an example. Housing is hitting record lows. You mm -hmm. know, uh, and nobody, you can't borrow money. But where housing industry has hit new highs. No, it didn't, it, it is sold over on Bloomberg when it hit new lows. Fox News will tell you it's hit new highs. Fox News will tell you that it's time that we, uh, we, we started reining in banks. It's mm -hmm. time we started reining in lending institutions. You don't see Fox News going after doing investigations of unions. Mm -hmm. you know, you know, anything that the Democrat, anything that Obama needs to win, they are not pounding on. They lie. They basically probably get their. It was just funny. They said, "Well, the other media said, well, they get their talking papers from the Republicans.' No, they get their. No, they talking, don't. They get their talking papers. You have people basically are trying to be referees. I mean, like Chris Wallace." gets fed up, but Brit Hume is in a tank for, for um, Mitt Romney. So, um, Juan Williams is in the tank for the President of the United States. And has been for a very long time. I mean, Ron, you, know, you look at these people that used to be journalists who are refusing to report the news as it is. You have to go to, you go, you go to England to find out how bad our economy is. They're telling you the truth over there. 
But um, you know, it, it, you know, we would go rap, go on and on. But I just, I am, you know, I, I've been in the news industry almost all of my life, and I have never seen so many blatant examples of people screwing around with the news to give it a point of view that they want to have happen. And Fox mm -hmm. is just a, Fox is a major contributor of. Uh, of doing the thing with the news. It, it, it got to do it. Editor, an editor has all awful, awful power. It doesn't make any difference what the reporters want. Reporters tend to be good. Reporters will ask the questions. Mm -hmm. doesn't make any When a reporter sees blood in the water, they're like sharks. They pounce. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, they pounce and those, those things never turn up on the news, either Fox or otherwise. So, but that's because an editor, um, an editor decides what gets on the air. And you can basically say, uh, here's an example, if, the, if they would catch the Barack Obama going into a bank, uh, having the Secret Service wipe out everyone in the bank and him walking out with all the money and putting it in a limousine, you would never see that story on the nightly news, even on Fox. <laughs> it wouldn't happen. Because it would have simply been Barack Obama and the Secret Service agents walked into a robbery, and in the ensuing gunfight, everyone was killed. Mm -hmm. You know, and the, and the money, they, uh, they didn't catch the individual who took the money. That's how, the, uh, that's how the story would be reported on Fox News also. People were going, oh, that sounds like when you're watching television shows. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> right? Uh-huh. And, and the one thing that Fox News will do... Remember that, they say, what's the story? What's the story? But Fox will try to destroy anybody that says anything negative about Fox. Really? Oh, yeah. I mean, they totally, you will not say something negative about us because you can't prove it. Well, Bill O'Reilly says nothing good about insurance companies. Bill O'Reilly says nothing good about banks. Bill O'Reilly says nothing good about Gas petroleum companies. companies. Bill O'Reilly preaches Obama's party line. And he'll say, I say nothing, you cannot find any record of that. Uh, yeah, it's just, you know, basically they can sanitize all they want, but Bill O'Reilly on a nightly basis tells how much he hates these people. Mm -hmm. We need to have legislation to rein them in. We need to have, ta you know, we need this, we need that, to, you know, basically, and oh, Bill O'Reilly too. I know, but Bill O'Reilly doesn't know because he was never there. Mm -hmm. I, uh, one thing, before we close, I want to try to explain something to all of you people out there. The insurance companies are owned by the people. The banks are owned by the people. The petroleum companies are owned by the people. When you decide to teach those people a lesson that are running those companies, you shoot yourself in the foot. Oh, and your retirement funds. Yeah, your retirement fund. Everybody that bitches up a storm. And your friends, and, and your, your moms, friends. and your dads, yeah. and your kids, and everybody's. And, and, and one other thing, when it comes to petroleum, we don't control the price of petroleum. We can make it go down, but the problem is it goes up because those speculators that Bill O'Reilly wants to teach a lesson to, they don't work in this country. They work out of this country. Mm -hmm. It's actually higher out of this country than it is in our country. It's true. It's much higher out because the speculators are worse out of there because they know that there is a, okay, here it is. They know Obama is the best thing on earth for to get petroleum companies. So they want Obama to stay president to keep the prices high. Yeah, look at how... How it's done since he's been in office. Yeah, and uh, and a lot of that green money that Obama keeps spending. Who do you think are the largest suppliers of green energy in the whole god awful world? Mm -hmm. Those naughty little petroleum companies that he basically wants to. Con he, he basically, on the one hand, while he tries to destroy him, on the other hand, he's feeding him money like you cannot believe. Mm -hmm. So I guess we, which pocket do you want it in? Yeah, go right. Right. <laughs> you know, just in the right pocket. You know, like that. Do you hear the fact that? That General, you ever hear on, on, on Fox that General Motors is taking money from one government pocket and put it into another government pocket and making huge profits? No, mm -hmm. they're not making profits. There's a, there, there's a rule of thumb, you cannot cut the size of your business down and, and make a profit in a result. Because when you cut the size of the business down, you're not bringing in as much money as you were before. But the product still costs as much to produce. Mm -hmm. So if the car cost $20,000 yesterday, the car cost $20,000 today. And, um, you, 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 and if you cut everything down that helps to make it cheaper, you raise the cost of the product. You, you, can, you never lower the cost of a product by downsizing. It only goes up. So.
That's a bit of economics. I guess until next time, this is all again. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. For more information, you can go to www.mondaybubble.net or www.mbnnewsvideoweb.com. And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And well, and the following us is like whether it's on liking us on Facebook, following us on Twitter, any of those things. But thank you once again for over 250 million likes because we're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow in 3D, 2D, live streaming, as well as written content.